in bright colors, each of them in shorts that show the knobs of their knees. Mommy is what he calls. Come here to us. She motions with both hands. June and Mira and Yuni mimic their eldest sister, their fingers netting me in. I know which rocks to glide over, how to balance the body against the current's flow. They know too. This is our river. I leave the water for dry stones and look up. They stand above on a hanging ledge of grass. I show them the wet clothes. I was washing, all done. They don't remind me that we have a sink in our home now. With one twist of a metal handle, water gushes. When Chizu first installed the tap in our kitchen, the girls marveled at the force of the flow. They cupped their palms underneath and drank like animals. Sori plucks the wet clothes from me and lays them out on the grass. Yellow dry blades poke through holes in the fabric. Remind me to stitch those spots, I say. Can't have you looking like orphans at school. Sori glances at my shoulder, where my skin is still red from Chisu's morning anger. Right, she says. Right, they say. We brought kimbap. Chiyun pulls long rolls of seaweed-wrapped rice from her rucksack. They are perfect and cylindrical and gleaming. We find our spot of earth where the ground has molded to our forms. Mira sets handkerchiefs before us, and Uni claps her approval. We huddle in a circle. <laughs>